and welcome to our lesson on creating perpendicular bisectors. So to create a perpendicular bisector, we need a pair of compasses. And I'm going to put the compasses on one end of the line and I open up the radius to greater than half the length of the line. And now I cannot change its radius because I need to use the same arc from point B. So I'll create the arc above and below the line. Now I'm going to move the compass to point B. And I'm going to create an arc of equal length. And you can see the two arcs intersect. And I'm going to draw a line segment between these two intersecting arcs. So I start at the top and I work my way to the other intersection. And you can see I've created a perfectly perpendicular line that intersects the line AB exactly halfway. We can check this using a ruler. So you can see our perpendicular bisector, the green line, crosses at exactly four centimeters. Okay, let's try the next question. So we're going to use a ruler and a pair of compasses to construct the perpendicular bisector of two points A and B. And we're going to clearly show all our construction arcs. Do you want to pause the video on its construction and resume it when you're ready? Okay, if you can remember, we're going to create an arc where the radius is greater than half the length of the line AB. So we'll open up our compasses and we'll draw an arc above and below. And again, remember to keep the radius fixed and drag it over to point B. And we're going to create another arc of equal radius. And I'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector, which is a line that intersects where both arcs cross. And again, we can check it is equidistant between the two points A and B by using a ruler. So the length between A to B is 8.5, and you can see the perpendicular bisector crosses at 4.25. Okay, let's try the last question. We're going to construct the perpendicular bisector to the line segment AB that passes through point P. So if you want to try and solve this problem by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So the key to solving this problem is to make P the center of its own line. We're going to draw a circle around P where P is the center. I will label the points where the circle crosses the line as C and D. And now I'm going to create a perpendicular bisector from the line C, D. Again, open up your compasses to greater than half the length of the line C, D. So it passes through point P. And I'm going to draw an arc above and below. Keeping the radius the same, I'll do the same from point D, below and above the line. So now I'll draw a line that intersects with two arcs and passes through point P. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.